What's your all-time favorite game? And why does it hold a special place in your heart? My favorite game has to be The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It was my first introduction to the gaming world, and the storyline is unforgettable. What's your all-time favorite game, and why does it hold a special place in your heart? My favorite game has to be, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It was my first introduction to the gaming world, and the storyline is unforgettable. Do you have a preferred gaming platform? And how does it influence your choice of favorite games? I'm a PC gamer at heart. The versatility and the wide range of game genres available on PC contribute to the variety of my favorite games. Do you have a preferred gaming platform? And how does it influence your choice of favorite games? I'm a PC gamer at heart. The versatility and the wide range of game genres available on PC contribute to the variety of my favorite games. Are you more drawn to single-player or multiplayer games when it comes to choosing your favorites? I lean towards single-player games. There's something about getting lost in a captivating story without distractions that I find truly enjoyable. Are you more drawn to single-player or multiplayer games when it comes to choosing your favorites? I lean towards single-player games. There's something about getting lost in a captivating story without distractions that I find truly enjoyable. What qualities or features in a game make it a standout favorite for you? I love games with immersive storytelling, stunning visuals, and a great soundtrack. Those elements elevate the overall gaming experience for me. What qualities or features in a game make it a standout favorite for you? I love games with immersive storytelling, stunning visuals, and a great soundtrack. Those elements elevate the overall gaming experience for me. Can you share a memorable in-game moment from your favorite game that left a lasting impression on you? In Mass Effect 2, the suicide mission had me on the edge of my seat. The weight of my decisions affecting the outcome made it a truly unforgettable experience. Can you share a memorable in-game moment from your favorite game that left a lasting impression on you? In Mass Effect 2, the suicide mission had me on the edge of my seat. The weight of my decisions affecting the outcome made it a truly unforgettable experience. How do you balance exploring new games with revisiting your all-time favorite titles? I set aside dedicated time for both. Exploring new games satisfies my curiosity, but revisiting favorites is like reconnecting with old friends. How do you balance exploring new games with revisiting your all-time favorite titles? I set aside dedicated time for both. Exploring new games satisfies my curiosity, but revisiting favorites is like reconnecting with old friends. Do you have a favorite genre of games, and does it play a role in determining your favorite game? I'm a fan of RPGs. The depth of character development and the ability to shape the story make RPGs like The Witcher 3 stand out as favorites. Do you have a favorite genre of games, 
And does it play a role in determining your favorite game? I'm a fan of RPGs. The depth of character development and the ability to shape the story make RPGs like The Witcher 3 stand out as favorites. How do you feel when you discover a hidden gem of a game that eventually becomes one of your favorites? It's an exhilarating feeling, like finding treasure. Unearthing a hidden gem adds an element of surprise and uniqueness to my gaming collection. How do you feel when you discover a hidden gem of a game that eventually becomes one of your favorites? It's an exhilarating feeling, like finding treasure. Unearthing a hidden gem adds an element of surprise and uniqueness to my gaming collection. Do you have a favorite game developer or studio whose creations you consistently enjoy? CD Projekt Red has consistently delivered incredible games like The Witcher series and Cyberpunk 2077, making them a favorite studio of mine. Do you have a favorite game developer or studio whose creations you consistently enjoy? CD Projekt Red has consistently delivered incredible games like The Witcher series and Cyberpunk 2077, making them a favorite studio of mine. How does nostalgia factor into your choice of favorite games? And do you have a childhood favorite that still holds up? Nostalgia plays a big role. Super Mario 64 is a childhood favorite that, even today, brings back fond memories and remains a timeless classic. How does nostalgia factor into your choice of favorite games? And do you have a childhood favorite that still holds up? Nostalgia plays a big role. Super Mario 64 is a childhood favorite that, even today, brings back fond memories and remains a timeless classic. Are there specific elements in a game, like character design or world building, that contribute to making it your favorite? A well-crafted game world is crucial for me. Games like Skyrim, with expansive, immersive worlds become favorites due to the sense of exploration they offer. Are there specific elements in a game, like character design or world building, that contribute to making it your favorite? A well-crafted game world is crucial for me. Games like Skyrim, with expansive, immersive worlds become favorites due to the sense of exploration they offer. Do you enjoy multiplayer co-op games, and do you have a favorite game to play with friends? Absolutely. Among Us is a recent favorite for its social dynamics, but classics like left four dead two inches have also provided countless hours of co-op fun. Do you enjoy multiplayer co-op games, and do you have a favorite game to play with friends? Absolutely. Among Us is a recent favorite for its social dynamics, but classics like Left 4 Dead 2 Inches have also provided countless hours of co-op fun. How do you go about recommending your favorite games to friends, considering their varied tastes? I tailor recommendations based on their preferences. If they enjoy storytelling, I might suggest an RPG while action lovers might get a recommendation for an adrenaline-pumping game. How do you go about recommending your favorite games to friends, considering their varied tastes? 
I tailor recommendations based on their preferences. If they enjoy storytelling, I might suggest an RPG, while action lovers might get a recommendation for an adrenaline pumping game. How do you feel when a highly anticipated game lives up to your expectations and becomes a new favorite? It's a euphoric experience. Witnessing a game meet or exceed expectations, like Red Dead Redemption 2, adds to the joy of being a gamer. How do you feel when a highly anticipated game lives up to your expectations and becomes a new favorite? It's a euphoric experience. Witnessing a game meet or exceed expectations, like Red Dead Redemption 2, adds to the joy of being a gamer. Do you have a favorite game soundtrack? And how does the music contribute to your overall enjoyment of the game? The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim has an incredible soundtrack. The music enhances the atmosphere and emotions, making the gaming experience more immersive. Do you have a favorite game soundtrack? And how does the music contribute to your overall enjoyment of the game? The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim has an incredible soundtrack. The music enhances the atmosphere and emotions, making the gaming experience more immersive. How does the art style of a game impact your enjoyment? And do you have a favorite game based on its visual aesthetics? Cuphead stands out with its unique hand-drawn art style. A visually striking game can elevate the overall experience and become a favorite for its aesthetics. How does the art style of a game impact your enjoyment, and do you have a favorite game based on its visual aesthetics? Cuphead stands out with its unique hand-drawn art style. A visually striking game can elevate the overall experience and become a favorite for its aesthetics. Are there specific game mechanics or features that, when done well, contribute to making a game your favorite? I appreciate innovative game mechanics. Portal is a favorite due to its groundbreaking use of portal based puzzles showcasing unique and engaging gameplay. Are there specific game mechanics or features that, when done well, contribute to making a game your favorite? I appreciate innovative game mechanics. Portal is a favorite due to its groundbreaking use of portal-based puzzles, showcasing unique and engaging gameplay. How do you handle situations where a sequel to your favorite game is released, and it may or may not live up to the original? I approach sequels with an open mind. While some surpass expectations, like The Last of Us Part Two, others may not, but I appreciate the effort in expanding the story. How do you handle situations where a sequel to your favorite game is released, and it may or may not live up to the original? I approach sequels with an open mind. While some surpass expectations, like The Last of Us Part Two, others may not, but I appreciate the effort in expanding the story. Do you have a favorite gaming memory? Perhaps a particularly challenging achievement or a satisfying in-game accomplishment? Defeating a challenging boss in Dark Souls felt like a monumental achievement. Overcoming tough obstacles adds a sense of accomplishment that makes a game memorable. 
Do you have a favorite gaming memory? Perhaps a particularly challenging achievement or a satisfying in-game accomplishment? Defeating a challenging boss in Dark Souls felt like a monumental achievement. Overcoming tough obstacles adds a sense of accomplishment that makes a game memorable. How does the gaming community, such as online forums or social media, influence your experience with your favorite games? Engaging with the gaming community allows me to share experiences, discover hidden secrets, and appreciate different perspectives on my favorite games. How does the gaming community, such as online forums or social media, influence your experience with your favorite games? Engaging with the gaming community allows me to share experiences, discover hidden secrets, and appreciate different perspectives on my favorite games. How do you approach downloadable content DLC or expansions for your favorite games, and do they enhance your overall gaming experience? Well-executed DLC can breathe new life into a favorite game. The additional content for The Witcher 3 expanded the world and deepened the story, enhancing the overall experience. How do you approach downloadable content DLC or expansions for your favorite games, and do they enhance your overall gaming experience? Well-executed DLC can breathe new life into a favorite game. The additional content for The Witcher 3 expanded the world and deepened the story, enhancing the overall experience. How do you feel when a game you've been eagerly anticipating is delayed? And how does it affect your excitement for its eventual release? While delays can be disappointing, I appreciate developers taking the time needed for polish. It builds anticipation, and when the game finally releases, it often surpasses expectations. How do you feel when a game you've been eagerly anticipating is delayed? And how does it affect your excitement for its eventual release? While delays can be disappointing, I appreciate developers taking the time needed for polish. It builds anticipation, and when the game finally releases, it often surpasses expectations. Do you have a favorite in-game character, and what qualities or story arc makes them stand out for you? Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher series is a favorite. His complexity, moral choices, and sarcastic humor make him a memorable and well-developed character. Do you have a favorite in-game character? And what qualities or story arc makes them stand out for you? Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher series is a favorite. His complexity, moral choices, and sarcastic humor make him a memorable and well-developed character. How do you approach situations where a game receives mixed reviews? And do you still give it a chance based on your own preferences? I consider the reasons for mixed reviews and, if it aligns with my preferences, I'll give it a chance. Personal enjoyment often trumps critical reviews. How do you approach situations where a game receives mixed reviews? And do you still give it a chance based on your own preferences? I consider the reasons for mixed reviews and, if it aligns with my preferences, I'll give it a chance. Personal enjoyment often trumps critical reviews. 
How do you balance playing new releases with revisiting your favorite games? And do you find joy in rediscovering old favorites? I rotate between new releases and old favorites. Rediscovering old favorites, like Fallout New Vegas, brings a sense of nostalgia and joy to my gaming routine. How do you balance playing new releases with revisiting your favorite games? And do you find joy in rediscovering old favorites? I rotate between new releases and old favorites. Rediscovering old favorites, like Fallout New Vegas, brings a sense of nostalgia and joy to my gaming routine. Are there specific gaming genres or themes that you haven't explored much but would like to, and why? I haven't delved much into strategy games. Exploring games like Civilization VI intrigues me, as it offers a different type of challenge and gameplay. Are there specific gaming genres or themes that you haven't explored much but would like to, and why? I haven't delved much into strategy games. Exploring games like Civilization VI intrigues me, as it offers a different type of challenge and gameplay. How do you handle situations where a game you were excited about turns out to be a disappointment? And how do you manage expectations? Disappointments happen. I reflect on what aspects fell short, acknowledge the disappointment, and focus on discovering new games that may become future favorites. How do you handle situations where a game you were excited about turns out to be a disappointment, and how do you manage expectations? Disappointments happen. I reflect on what aspects fell short, acknowledge the disappointment, and focus on discovering new games that may become future favorites. Do you have a favorite game-related merchandise or collectible that holds sentimental value for you? A signed poster from the voice actors of The Last of Us is a cherished collectible. It serves as a reminder of the emotional impact the game had on me. Do you have a favorite game-related merchandise or collectible that holds sentimental value for you? A signed poster from the voice actors of The Last of Us is a cherished collectible. It serves as a reminder of the emotional impact the game had on me. How do you approach gaming marathons or long sessions with your favorite game? and what keeps you engaged for extended periods. Immersive storytelling and captivating gameplay are key. When a game offers a rich experience, it becomes easy to get lost in it for hours on end. How do you approach gaming marathons or long sessions with your favorite game, and what keeps you engaged for extended periods? Immersive storytelling and captivating gameplay are key. When a game offers a rich experience, it becomes easy to get lost in it for hours on end. How do you incorporate gaming into social activities? And do you have a favorite multiplayer game for socializing with friends? Multiplayer games like Fortnite or Rocket League, are great for socializing. They provide a fun platform to connect and compete with friends. How do you incorporate gaming into social activities, and do you have a favorite multiplayer game for socializing with friends? Multiplayer games like Fortnite, or Rocket League, are great for socializing. 
they provide a fun platform to connect and compete with friends. How do you feel about remastered versions or reboots of your favorite games? And do you welcome the opportunity to revisit them with updated graphics? I appreciate well done remasters. They allow me to experience favorite games with enhanced visuals and sometimes additional content, adding value to the nostalgia. How do you feel about remastered versions or reboots of your favorite games? And do you welcome the opportunity to revisit them with updated graphics? I appreciate well done remasters. They allow me to experience favorite games with enhanced visuals and sometimes additional content, adding value to the nostalgia. How does the storyline or narrative of a game impact your decision to declare it a favorite? And do you enjoy games with branching storylines? A compelling storyline is a major factor. Games like Life is strange. With branching narratives and impactful choices add layers of depth, making them favorites. How does the storyline or narrative of a game impact your decision to declare it a favorite? And do you enjoy games with branching storylines? A compelling storyline is a major factor. Games like Life is strange with branching narratives and impactful choices add layers of depth, making them favorites. How do you approach situations where your friends have different favorite games? And do you engage in game swapping to broaden your gaming experience? Game swapping is a great way to broaden horizons. It introduces me to titles I might not have considered and it's fun to share favorite games with friends. How do you approach situations where your friends have different favorite games, and do you engage in game swapping to broaden your gaming experience? Game swapping is a great way to broaden horizons. It introduces me to titles I might not have considered and it's fun to share favorite games with friends. Do you have a favorite in-game location or world that you find particularly enchanting? And what makes it special for you? The world of Elder Scrolls Morrowind is captivating. The unique landscapes, diverse cities, and lore-rich environment make it a favorite in-game world. Do you have a favorite in-game location or world that you find particularly enchanting, and what makes it special for you? The world of Elder Scrolls Morrowind is captivating. The unique landscapes, diverse cities, and lore-rich environment make it a favorite in-game world. How do you approach situations where a game you enjoyed as a child may not hold up as well in terms of graphics or mechanics today? Nostalgia often outweighs technical shortcomings. While older games may not match today's standards, the memories associated with them make them enduring favorites. How do you approach situations where a game you enjoyed as a child may not hold up as well in terms of graphics or mechanics today? Nostalgia often outweighs technical shortcomings. While older games may not match today's standards, the memories associated with them make them enduring favorites. How do you feel about in-game microtransactions? And do they influence your enjoyment of a game or its status as a favorite? Thoughtfully implemented microtransactions are acceptable. However, if they detract from the core experience, it can impact my overall enjoyment of a game. 
How do you feel about in-game microtransactions, and do they influence your enjoyment of a game or its status as a favorite? Thoughtfully implemented microtransactions are acceptable. However, if they detract from the core experience, it can impact my overall enjoyment of a game. How do you approach situations where your favorite game introduces a sequel, and the gameplay mechanics or tone shift significantly? I approach sequels with an open mind. While shifts in tone or mechanics can be surprising, they can also bring fresh perspectives and innovations to the series. How do you approach situations where your favorite game introduces a sequel, and the gameplay mechanics or tone shift significantly? I approach sequels with an open mind. While shifts in tone or mechanics can be surprising, they can also bring fresh perspectives and innovations to the series. Do you have a favorite gaming community or forum where you connect with fellow gamers to discuss your favorite games? I enjoy engaging on Reddit communities dedicated to specific games. It's a great platform to share experiences, theories, and engage in discussions with fellow gamers. Do you have a favorite gaming community or forum where you connect with fellow gamers to discuss your favorite games? I enjoy engaging on Reddit communities dedicated to specific games. It's a great platform to share experiences, theories, and engage in discussions with fellow gamers. How do you feel when a beloved game franchise takes a hiatus, and what are your expectations when it eventually returns? While the wait can be challenging, I appreciate developers taking the time to deliver a quality experience. My expectations are often high, hoping for an evolution of the franchise. How do you feel when a beloved game franchise takes a hiatus, and what are your expectations when it eventually returns? While the wait can be challenging, I appreciate developers taking the time to deliver a quality experience. My expectations are often high, hoping for an evolution of the franchise. How do you approach situations where a game you enjoyed becomes a cultural phenomenon, and does it alter your perception of the game? It's exciting to see games become cultural phenomena. While it doesn't alter my personal enjoyment, it's fascinating to witness the impact of gaming on a broader scale. How do you approach situations where a game you enjoyed becomes a cultural phenomenon, and does it alter your perception of the game? It's exciting to see games become cultural phenomena. While it doesn't alter my personal enjoyment, it's fascinating to witness the impact of gaming on a broader scale. How do you handle situations where a game you once considered a favorite doesn't resonate with you as much upon replaying it? Tastes evolve. If a game doesn't resonate as strongly upon replay, I acknowledge the change in perspective and appreciate the impact it had during its initial playthrough. How do you handle situations where a game you once considered a favorite doesn't resonate with you as much upon replaying it? Tastes evolve. If a game doesn't resonate as strongly upon replay, I acknowledge the change in perspective and appreciate the impact it had during its initial playthrough. How do you approach situations where a favorite game receives expansions or additional content that significantly enhances the gaming experience? 
I welcome expansions that enhance the experience. Games like The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion benefited greatly from expansions that added depth and new adventures. How do you approach situations where a favorite game receives expansions or additional content that significantly enhances the gaming experience? I welcome expansions that enhance the experience. Games like The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion benefited greatly from expansions that added depth and new adventures. How do you incorporate gaming into your self-care routine? And do you find it to be a therapeutic activity? Gaming serves as a therapeutic escape. Immersing myself in captivating worlds provides a mental break and relaxation, contributing positively to my overall well-being. How do you incorporate gaming into your self-care routine, and do you find it to be a therapeutic activity? Gaming serves as a therapeutic escape. Immersing myself in captivating worlds provides a mental break and relaxation, contributing positively to my overall well-being. How do you feel about virtual reality VR gaming? And do you see it impacting your choice of favorite games in the future? VR is intriguing. While I haven't fully delved into it, I anticipate it could enhance immersive experiences, potentially influencing my choice of favorite games in the future. How do you feel about virtual reality VR gaming, and do you see it impacting your choice of favorite games in the future? VR is intriguing. While I haven't fully delved into it, I anticipate it could enhance immersive experiences, potentially influencing my choice of favorite games in the future. How do you handle situations where your favorite game receives criticism or controversy, and does it affect your perception of the game? Criticism doesn't always diminish my personal enjoyment. I consider diverse perspectives but ultimately prioritize my individual experience and connection with the game. How do you handle situations where your favorite game receives criticism or controversy, and does it affect your perception of the game? Criticism doesn't always diminish my personal enjoyment. I consider diverse perspectives but ultimately prioritize my individual experience and connection with the game. How do you approach situations where your favorite game introduces updates or patches that alter gameplay mechanics, and does it impact your enjoyment? It depends on the updates. Positive enhancements or improvements are welcome, but drastic changes that alter the core experience might impact my enjoyment. How do you approach situations where your favorite game introduces updates or patches that alter gameplay mechanics, and does it impact your enjoyment? It depends on the updates. Positive enhancements or improvements are welcome, but drastic changes that alter the core experience might impact my enjoyment. How do you incorporate gaming into your social life, and do you have a favorite game for multiplayer sessions with friends? Multiplayer sessions, especially with friends, are a blast. Games like Overwatch, or Minecraft, provide enjoyable opportunities to connect and have fun together. How do you incorporate gaming into your social life, and do you have a favorite game for multiplayer sessions with friends? Multiplayer sessions, 
especially with friends, are a blast. Games like, Overwatch, or, Minecraft, provide enjoyable opportunities to connect and have fun together. How does the in-game community or player base of a favorite game contribute to your overall experience? And do you engage with other players online? A positive in-game community enhances the experience. Engaging with fellow players online, sharing strategies or stories, adds a communal aspect that enriches my enjoyment. How does the in-game community or player base of a favorite game contribute to your overall experience, and do you engage with other players online? A positive in-game community enhances the experience. Engaging with fellow players online, sharing strategies or stories, adds a communal aspect that enriches my enjoyment. How do you feel when a game you once considered a favorite receives a remaster? And do you embrace the opportunity to revisit it with updated graphics? I appreciate the chance to revisit favorites with enhanced visuals. Remasters, like Final Fantasy VII Remake, provide a fresh perspective while maintaining the essence of the original. How do you feel when a game you once considered a favorite receives a remaster, and do you embrace the opportunity to revisit it with updated graphics? I appreciate the chance to revisit favorites with enhanced visuals. Remasters, like Final Fantasy VII Remake, provide a fresh perspective while maintaining the essence of the original. How do you approach situations where a game you enjoyed during a specific phase of your life may not resonate as strongly in a different life stage? Tastes evolve with life stages. If a game doesn't resonate as strongly, I appreciate the memories associated with that phase and explore new titles. How do you approach situations where a game you enjoyed during a specific phase of your life may not resonate as strongly in a different life stage? Tastes evolve with life stages. If a game doesn't resonate as strongly, I appreciate the memories associated with that phase and explore new titles. <laughs>